on this week's episode of the Big Eyes Podcast, Demon Slayer hits us right in the fields, Guardian of the Witch heats up, and I finally start Food Wars. All this and more on a new episode of the Big Eyes Podcast. Welcome to the latest episode of the Big Eyes Podcast. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Once again, I am your host, LJ. Um, Man, a very fun week in anime, uh, for me at least. Uh, I started watching JoJo. That is, that's been fun so far. Um, like six episodes in, uh, it was definitely something that I was not expecting. I've been having people tell me to watch this for a very long time, so... I finally started it, so you guys can get off my back. Um, Man, Monday, me and Mills, we dropped a My Hero Heroes Rising um, review, and we dropped that on Monday, so you guys can go to the Lookout and check that out. Also, the Lookout Podcast, they dropped an episode this week, too, and they are joined by the great Johnny Five as they continue to go through the first season of Demon Slayer. So, man, we got a lot of content. Once again, last week was super fun um, doing Pokemon Week. Uh, thank you guys so much for you know everyone that participated, everyone that retweeted, all those things. Um, it was just it was just a great week. Uh, thank you guys so much for just all the love you've been showing the Lookout uh, page on Twitter. And remember to follow, subscribe. Uh, to the Lookout RNC, where we will be your one-stop shop for all things anime and manga. So, and just once again, thank you very much, and let's just get to it. Let's get to these chapters. We are really coming to the end of Demon Slayer. I truly don't know how I feel about this yet. Um, man, this week's chapter, a very emotional one. As we continue this final battle of Muzan that's been lasting a very long time. And this whole time, I'm pretty sure that a thousand people forgot that Nezuko was running towards the battle. Um, running towards her brother. Uh, but as she is running... Something amazing is happening. While she is running and this battle continues to go, she's turning back into a human. The biggest goal her brother had is happening, um, you know, and this chapter really centers around her finding that sense of humanity back, um, regaining her memories. Uh, you start to see the her, the death of her family from her point of view, which was uh pretty crazy, um you know, because you know you get this picture of Muzan and he's really you know you see that his biggest goal was to conquer the sun, um to be able to not die by sunlight and you know as uh as you look at these flashbacks you see him going to you know their house he's like he pretty much was turning trying to attempt to turn his whole family into demons but it, it seems that no one was able to hold his blood except Nezuko which he really didn't get a chance to you know capitalize on cuz he thought he killed her um but yeah man big ch- uh a big chapter and we really are looking at the end of what seems to be the end of this whole um you know series and it's really crazy to think like you know we're we're kind of to this point especially because like you know right now demon slayer is like the biggest anime in the world um but no so it was you know this chapter you know you the the end is near as you can see um, you know, even in these past couple chapters, uh, you know, you start to see the battle really turn into the favor of the Hishiras. Uh, Igro is back helping, um, you know, Tanjiro, you know, be able to, to defeat him. Busan keeps trying to escape tactics, and it seems that just all these things are going wrong for him. Um, you know, even in this chapter, when he attempts to divide himself, he can't even do it because of the poisoning that's still working in his body. That's really not allowing him to, 
which we figure out is like four poisons in one, but you know, it's not allowing him to, you know, evolve, it's not allowing him to do anything. So death really seems you know imminent for him. It's been a you know, it's been a crazy ride to think that this is gonna be the end. If they hit us with a curveball and like you know, Muzan has like an older brother or there's an actual stronger demon out here still making demons. That would be, you know, I don't see them doing that. But if it so happens, um, eh. but no. So, you know, the end seems really near this chapter, you know, really emotional as, you know, as once again, you know, Nezuko, this, you know, little demon girl that we all grew to love is now finally, you know, becoming a human again um you know she remembers the faces of all the people that helped them and you know it this seems like a really great way for them to just you know once again wrap it up um you know especially just the the emotional feeling of just all of it coming together and happening but uh yeah that was chapter 196 of demon slayer So, I've been getting into, like, these medieval-type animes or, like, in that medieval setting. Uh, just finished, like, Seven Deadly Sins not too long ago. Uh, you know, a Vinland Saga, which is really dope. And if you have not watched it yet, you should watch it and read it. Um, but, you know, I am started reading The Guardians of the Witch. And it's pretty dope so far. I mean, it's five chapters in. It's pretty cool. Um, really follows... Um, you know, this guardian named Fafner and this witch named Manasfa or Manasfa, yeah. Um, you know, so in this time, witches are created by, you know, dropping these evil seeds into girls and when they survive, they are given, you know, magical powers they use to protect these city states. Um and you know, but as they keep the, you know, the longer they are a witch, the more that kind of evilness from the seed grows. And the guardian's job is to pretty much like protect the witch, but also when he ha- they have to kill the witch too before the evil completely takes over them. And, you know, it is Manasa's time pretty much to, to meet her maker. And it is Faustina's job to, you know, to kill her. And pretty much she's like, you know what? I don't like witches anyway because I feel that witches make us a weak society. But I have grown to like like this girl like and respect her. And she's, you know, the girl's like, you know what? I don't like being a witch anyways. I wish witches, you know, witches can end. And they both have this common goal of, you know, witches don't need to exist anymore. So they, they set off on this journey you know, pretty much becoming enemies of their state, and they're like, you know what, skip this, we're gonna go stop witches being made, and I'm gonna turn her back into a regular human, which I guess is the theme of this podcast today, is turning people back into humans, um, but no, so, uh, you know, they, they're on this journey, and this latest chapter, we are now finally getting a, like, you know, we're, we're getting into some action, um, they have sent assassins, another pair of guardian and witches to kill these two. And right now we are, you know, while we're watching this battle, you know, you, you know, Fossil is a, you know, he is known to be a very skilled warrior, but this is the first time that he has gone against, you know, uh, an opponent of this caliber where they're using, you know, the the human is a good battler, but he's also using the, the power of a witch to kind of enhance his skills. And he is using all his best ability to protect the witch and do her thing. And with this final attack, I mean, the the panels in this are really dope. Uh, the panels in this are really cool looking, especially how, you know, they're using the magic as weapons. But at the end of this, pretty much we see that he's getting overwhelmed and you're not only is he getting overwhelmed he is getting barred up and assault you know and insulted and um you know Manaswa does not like that she does not like hearing her friends um being insulted or you know made fun of so she enters the battle or she's about to enter the battle uh you know as she gets angry and starts letting her powers loose a little um but no, so far this you know once again I said five chapters in, but you know it's 
it's it's a cool read. I'm I know I wanted to continue to, you know, grow and see where this plot kind of takes them because it seems a little confusing of just kind of like how there's all of a sudden like, you know what, skip this, I'm gonna turn my back on everybody and the next thing you know they're the enemy of the state. There was really no build to it. It was just kind of done. But uh I'm I'm excited to see what what happens more and what continues to happen, you know, after this. But this um The Guardians of the Witch was once again a new manga. There's been like a lot of new stuff that's been dropping. It's so good. I like so much new stuff and it sucks because my backlog is already just insanely long and i'm like all right well all this new stuff is coming out which means i know this is gonna get my logs about to get longer but you know this you know this one you know it seems cool i don't know how i keep falling onto these medieval things though it's very weird but no that was this week's chapter or chapter five of guardians of the witch So, I started Food Wars, and um, if you're listening to this, and you call yourself my friend, you call yourself my brethren, my sister, whatever, I don't care, and you have never recommended me to like read this, I want you to know that we're no longer friends, this is the end of our friendship here, because you are keeping me away from this greatness that is Food Wars, um, you know, there are a lot of things I have not read yet. Um, you know, with manga, I, you know, I tend to stay with like shonen, stay with things that are more actiony and whatnot. But you no, know, I feel that Food Wars is a tad bit of a, you know, is is a little different than what I usually read. But this is amazing. If you have not read it, it pretty much follows this young kid named Soma who is. You know, pretty much aiming to be the top, uh, no, the the best chef that he can be. He wants to be able to, you know, be his dad, be a better chef than his dad. Um, you know, even just right off jump, man, he's fighting gentrification. His food is making people, you know, wild, horny for some reason. Um, like it, it's very funny, but like you know, as someone who kind of, you know, I, I like outside of this, I work in the culinary field. I love cooking. I love food. I, you know, that's damn near my life. If you have not seen my Instagram story, uh, you should go check it out where I'm, you know, cooking and making stuff all the time. But just seeing this, um, you know, reading this manga, reading this is oddly inspiring. <laughs> it is, it is weirdly inspiring. But no, so, it, no, once again, if I was this young kid named Soma, I love how his dad dips out on him. Any, any manga or like anime that has the where the dad just dips out on his son, automatic classic. Um, yeah, automatic classic. If you think of all the great dads in anime, they have all dipped out on their son because they're all amazing. And shout out to Gang because he is the greatest anime dad of all time. But you know what? If you you know if they dip out on the son, it is building to be a great um is is building to be a great story. So he gives on his son. He's pretty much like, yo, if you want to be a better chef than me, go to this school. You know, go to the top culinary school that um, so you can become, you know, a, a better chef. You cannot make it there. If you cannot make it, um, you know, you, why you're, you'll never be better than me, pretty much. And so, uh, you know, he, he goes and he. You know, he goes and he attempts to, you know, he goes to the trial thing where he, you know, he cooks for one of the students and, you know, she, you know, she's known as to have this divine tongue. He goes in there, he shows out, but she is being a hater and she straight like, you know, rejected him because she didn't want to say his food was good. Boom. Like dad came through. Or the you know, top guy, the principal came through, tasted his dish after the fact, and was like, yo, this is a banger. Sent him the acceptance letter. And the next thing you know, he's back in the school. And you no, know, and that's kind of like I kind of ended right right there. Like I would say technically like the first arc. I stopped that. Um but you know, off rip, like you automatically like start to feel like 
I want to I, I want to connect with the main character, and I'm already feeling like I connect to the main character. And then it's like the side characters are coming in, and you know it's you know you're starting to wonder like okay like where is these relationships? Where are these things going to go? Where do these people start playing a bigger role in all of this? Um, so no, I'm excited. That I started Food Wars. Uh, you know, once again, I said I've only made it kind of past the first arc of what is going to be a very long read because I've just noticed that is, you know, 300 something chapters long, but you guys are going to be with me this whole ride. But so far, man, Food Wars is starting off really great. I actually have, I have one friend, one friend who had told me about the anime. He told me like, yo, you should watch the anime. It's really funny. It was really good. Um, but you know what? I'm starting to, you know, I'm starting to, I'm starting to risk and I'm excited to see where this goes. Because this thing looks really fun, really enjoyable. Um, like I said, you know, first couple chapters in, um, but I'm already drawn into this. Uh, Food Wars is, I mean, it's insanely popular. I'm not going to blame you guys fully. Like, I've seen it before. I should have been started this. But insanely popular uh, manga, insanely popular anime. But it is my first time reading it. And so far, so good. Uh, you know, and I'm going to continue to check back in as y'all can see, this, you know, to see where I'm progressing throughout this, throughout this manga. And, you know, maybe I start, you know, maybe I, I, I do some, some other mangas I haven't read, some other long ones. Uh, you know, keep it, keep it fresh. You know, like I haven't read everything. Um, if y'all have any recommendations, send them through. But, you no. Know, Right now we're gonna start off with Food Wars and we're gonna we're gonna get through Food Wars together as a family. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this episode of the Big Eyes Podcast. Once again, I'm your host LJ. Um you can follow me on Twitter at Jamal SLM and Instagram at Straw Hat LJ. Um please follow RNC Radio Live and the lookout RNC on Twitter. Um, we're, you know, once again, we're your one stop shop for all anime and manga content. Um, once again, guys, stay plus ultra. Thank you so much for tuning in. Peace.